When and if you get an opportunity to be able to see the other team take infield, you can find out a lot before the game starts if you only watch them take the infield. You'll see the outfielder's arms, you'll see their strength, you'll see the way they handle themselves in catching fly balls, whether they're very tentative or whether they're very aggressive, and you'll see their arm strength when they throw to the bases. You might see a left fielder and a center fielder that has very good arm strength, and you might see one of those two that has good arm strength that is not very accurate. If you watch the infield, it'll tell you a lot about what their strengths and weaknesses are. Now, how would I apply that in a game? Well, if I got a center fielder with a weak arm, I'm liable to bring all my runners. If I have a center or a right fielder that has a very strong arm, but an infield, she's throwing the ball within 10 feet of the plate either side all the time, I know that she's not very accurate in her throws. So this just gives you a little bit of more information gathering process, so to speak, to allow you to know what you want to do before the game starts. Now realize sometimes you can't do this. Sometimes you're playing in tournament play and you don't get an opportunity to even see infield. But you can watch the other team warm up down the lines and see the kids with the stronger throwing motions or the kids who get their arm way back to extend versus the kids who short arm the ball. There's a lot of things you can do to prepare before a game and infield is one of the most important things. This girl right here is probably the biggest, strongest kid on the field is feeling at shortstop. You see, she gets up top with her arm. They usually play the better defensive players at short and at center and behind the plate, especially in softball. Same way goes for baseball. They put the better athletes at the key positions. All of these kids look like they have very good fundamentals fielding in the infield here. So infield is a big tool that will allow you to assess a team's strengths and weaknesses sometimes before a game starts. Watching the opposing pitcher warm up in the bullpen, you might find out that she's only throwing one pitch. She has a rise ball or she has a drop ball. Uh, that she doesn't have a change up or something that's off speed. You may not find that out until the game starts, but if you watch before the game, it'll give you a little bit of idea of what she does have while she's warming up. Even your hitters, can get the bats in their hands in the on-deck circle while she's warming up and take their swings and time the velocity of her pitch to the plate. But all of these pre-game activities do nothing but give you a little bit more information that allows you to be able to predict what they're going to do with the kind of players they have. And you'll see arm strength and agility during infield. Another outstanding way to pick up something about the opposing team is to watch them take batting practice. And again, there are many times you don't get a chance to see them take batting practice. If you're playing in tournament play, take yourself a little piece of paper out, draw a field and a diamond and make a chart for each girl that's playing on any of the teams you think might be a possibility you play in the tournament and chart where the balls are hit on the field. You'll have some girls that'll stand up to the plate and they'll pull every ball down the left field line. You'll have some kids who everything back through the middle and some who hit everything to right field. The first two swings on this kid right here have been ground balls to the shortstop. If you watch them swing enough, you will be able to see and predict what section of the field that they will hit the ball to and then adjust your defense accordingly. You'll also get a chance to see where the hitters swing here, whether they swing late whether if the pitcher throws off speed pitches to them to practice those, whether she's out in front or not. But there's a lot of things outside of watching infield and watching batting practice that will help give you a competitive edge before a game starts. You might see the girls who are who are the slug bunners, the slap bunners, the slap hitters. They will all work on the things that they do well prior to the game trying to get ready. And when they do that, it gives you an idea of what it is they like to do, and you can anticipate that before the game starts. Again, if you don't have an opportunity to watch batting practice or to watch infield, try to see them play, if at all possible, in another tournament game. If they play prior to your team and you know there's a chance you're going to play those, try to see as many of those games as you can so you can pick up the ideas on how to defense and how to pitch hitters. Now let's say you don't have the chance to do either one. You might ask the kids on your ball club that have played against some of these kids in the past, how do they hit? Where do they hit? 
Who are the ones that are the power hitters? Which ones are the bunters? Which ones drag? And gather information that way. All of these information gathering processes simply do one thing. They allow us to have a competitive edge over our opponents if we are willing to spend the time to do it. I've watched a lot of young coaches that have three by five cards and they have little baseball diamonds on the front of them and they have the kids names at the top of them and they mark down every ball that that kid hit off their pitcher on that card which gives them a chance to predict where they're going to hit during the course of a ball game. 